not easy to provoke. Think it no evil. <laughs> rejoice in iniquity. Listen to what it said. Rejoice not. It don't rejoice in sin. Amen. It's not puffed up. It don't rejoice in sin. It don't rejoice, amen, in fighting against the word of God. It rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, saith the Lord. Uh, Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Uh, it means something to have charity, friend. Oh, charity. Amen. It's good to have faith. It's good to have all of these things, but if you have not love, you lack a sounding brass or tingling cymbal. Charity never fails. But whether there be prophecy, uh, they shall fail. Uh, the Bible said in that day, many will come up in, before me and say, Lord, Lord, I have casted out devils in your name. I have done wonderful works in your name. I have prophesied in your name. I have healed the sick in your name. I have cast out devils in your name. And Jesus is going to pronounce, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never you you as a Christian. I never you you to be a Christian. I never you that you want to live the holy word that I command you to live. I never known you to, to live a, a Christian life that the Bible compares for us to live, friend. Do you hear ye the word of the Lord? Amen. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Do you hear the word of the Lord? Your tongues, your beautiful songs, your, your knowledge that you once have, it's a possibility you could be a lost of your mind. You wouldn't even know you was in this world. It could vanish away. But listen, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, perfect a perfect sacrifice a perfect lamb that came amen the, the law was the shadows of good things to come but he could not do the perfect will of the father and he sent his only begotten son uh, amen to this world not to condemn you but to save you from your sins from your sins hear ye the word of the lord save you from your sins don't save you in sin. It saves you from sin. Hallelujah. The perfect sacrifice has come. Uh, through the shadow of the law, we was looking through a glass of darkness. But now, that perfect one has come. Amen. The Jesus came in the likeness of sinful flesh to condemn sin in the flesh. He came. He had enough of flesh in him. He couldn't could have committed sin, but he did not. He came to live a sinful life, to condemn sin in our flesh. Amen. The Bible said, without the shedding of his blood, there'd have been no remission for our sin. There'd have been nothing to keep us. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Amen. There's no cloak for your sins, friend. You might not be heard it this way before. The perfect one has come. Amen. The Bible said if the law could have brought perfection, Christ would not have to come. But through the weakness of the law, God sent his only begotten son. Amen. To die on a, a rugged cross. Amen. Crowned with thorns, pierced in the side, nailed to the cross, spit on, despised, shamed, stripped his garment off. Amen. And mocked him in every way. And holiness today is mocked. People don't want hey, this old time way of living like it used to be years ago. They don't want it. No.